Hello guys, this was Blind shoutcasting the semi-finals Division 1 game between TakeOver and Two Balls. I have to add kind of few words for this match in the beginning. This match is from yesterday, Sunday. Um, I have no idea when I can upload all this stuff. Um, and I d we did a shoutcast, a live shoutcast on this. Unfortunately, when I tried to record all the stuff, my, my computer, everything crashed on my screen. Like, really everything crashed twice. So I, I really had no time to fix this old stuff uh, because there was a live audio stream going. I had to keep talking and watching the game. So I have to do a late cast on this. Um, not gonna be surprised about the outcome. But I can tell you, this is a really intense game and you have to watch this, If in case you didn't see that this yet, you really need to watch this. This is a game with lots of surprises and one word ahead, the predictions went in favor for TakeOver. Most people um, said TakeOver is going to win this, I think Bakilos, he's um, predicting like every game on ESL. He predicted a 3-2-1 for TakeOver. And if, in case you didn't see the match, let's see if, we, if he's right. Um, we're gonna catch Zips on the pressure team, what's going and of course on the notes. Um, Aliens is going pretty much standard on double and C12 for Cargo Hive right now. We have a little pressure team in C12 with Frankie as a shotgunner. And let's, let's have a look on Frankie, what he's doing. Um, Aliens are setting up an ambush for Skulks. This is really a lot of Skulks and the Gorge for the spit harassing Marines and only two Marines there. Um, this is gonna be really tough and I think the won't will not go that easy into C12. So many Skulks now. Aliens are pushing. One down, two. Nice job there. But there's one Skulk left. Peach and he takes down the rest of both marines there. Yeah, nice catch there from Peach. I thought it was pretty much a work from the, from the other Skulks also going in there, tanking all the bullets. And yeah, hitting... Tanking all... Yeah. Making them shoot all the armor. Empty. There, but there's another pretty team in double right now. Good distraction so far in C12. Marines had a lot of time to put this pressure team in double. And aliens are down to one node now. But this is okay. You can lose one node. Especially if there are two pressure teams around. X-Men is going for two pressure teams. So it's not unusual to lose at least one node. But still okay, you can recap that or still go for a hive. Two nodes is okay. As I think. I wanna know who's working. Two balls is not going to work. They're going two fades actually. Tain, AA, Doogie. Two of them will fade, one will hive. Once probably. But having no lurks in the beginning means um, no gas. No gas means the com doesn't need to drop so many in mats. And Aliens can, uh, Marines can push much more easily. Have a look on a, an arrest tab here. I see um, one, two, three, four. Four, five, six knots now for Marines. Two knots for aliens. This is a good pressure, uh, good rest capping in the beginning so far for a, for X-Man takeover team. And we have to see what aliens are going going to do here. Two fades are coming up any second. They will just gestate. I really want to see Doogie fading because I always see Taint fading in two balls. Doogie is a good fade too. And he's a good skulk too, as you can see. He's always good for soloing um, those <laughs> marines. Anywhere they can, can go, even shotguns. If you know Tain and face him, he can solo two shotguns with one skulk. Yeah. And what's the Gorge doing in Overlook there? He's pretty much far away ahead from from home there. Just just little cute fatty there. What What's he doing? Trying to cap a note. No look, it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Spitting down notes, and not advice. I have no idea what he's doing there. Please. In the meanwhile, there's double going down. And now we got four skulks in the end of no three skulks and a fade immediately a double. This is a fast respawn time from two balls. And I think a good scouting too. This this game is pretty much all about scouting and fast responding. 
either of you marines or aliens who doesn't care you need to know what's going on on the map all the time you cannot let marines like drop a face gate at a high or a double and don't even know about it yeah poking you there was no chance for you the face can poke went down too we have both face up now AA and Tane. I think last match is spectator Tane a lot. Now I'm, we're gonna spectate AA a little bit. How is he, how he's performing on his way. Two guys coming west. A shotgun LMG. Shotgun is Fane. Fane is a really good shotgun. Right? He's old school. Old school NS player from a long time. And even after his break he's still good in shape. Yeah, he keeps going for West, and we've got four Marines in Overlook now. They're trying to go for the face gate there in Subsector, maybe they should have blabbed them. I, sh I would have went for Power Core, I think, because this is the most natural second hive if you have the Cargo Hive. You usually want to have a pipeline. Honestly, I forgot why, but I prefer pipeline. Because you always go for pipeline on the cargo. Hmm. Yeah, there must be a reason for it. I cannot remember. And what is X-Men doing now? I think we should go for double. Because as long as our enemies can hold double, the more players will pump out just now. And sometime they will just roll over those marines. Especially when the second hive act um, finally grows up and we have a pressure team three marines going there now I think two shotguns are with them and yeah they're putting the base gate up there as expected you might say as expected because I saw the match before but honestly I don't remember every second of the match of course and you, when you watch a map, you cannot catch a glimpse of everything that happens at the same time. You focus on lots of stuff.